Welcome back to Poetic Fitness. Today we got Iron Body, 60-20, 15 moves, no repeats. My dumbbells, they're already here. I got extras in case I decide I need them. If you have some, keep them nearby. Light to moderate today. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the first movement. We're gonna be down on one knee. We're gonna be doing a curl and press. So you'll grab a dumbbell you're comfortable curling and pressing with, and we will curl and press. You're on the right knee, left knee up. It's an off balance movement. When I click that button, we will have five seconds until we start. The question today is, what's your favorite bird? I'll tell you mine. Think about all the beautiful birds and tell me your favorite. Uh, there's nothing to it but to do it. So I'm gonna click that button. We're gonna get right after it. Be prepared, because we're gonna get it. Five seconds, get down on that knee. Here we go, curl and press. Good tempo. I don't want you pausing down at your side. If you decide to pause up top, that's fine because your shoulder's gonna be engaged. So we are off balance with one dumbbell to challenge the core, to challenge the glutes, but also keep the whole body working. Keep curling and keep thinking about your favorite bird. There's so many. So, so many birds. I personally love birds. I watch birds all the time. I have lots of bird feeders. And I really, truly enjoy them. They're peaceful, they're exciting, and they're cute. I like to feed them. They like to eat. Three, two, one, break. So now, we're just gonna switch legs. Take a nice deep breath. If you have water, you can grab a quick sip. The 60 second tempo, we're getting 20 second breaks. Trust me, it will start to add up, I promise. All right, curling and pressing. You just keep working and keep moving. Enjoy those 20 second breaks because these minute long exercises, oh, they're gonna start to get real fun. We're gonna start to get real fun. Mm-hmm. What do you like? You like a wren? Do you like a bunting? Do you like a sparrow? Do you like a finch? Flamingo? Hummingbird? Sandpiper? Gulls? Falcons? Eagles? <clears throat> you just or are you just kind of like, dear God, make me a bird so I can fly far, far, far away from here? Is that the kind of bird you like? I mean, are you the kind of bird, bird, bird? The bird is the word. We'll see the bird, bird. Break. I don't know if you heard about the bird. Now we've got a runner lunge. What is that? We've got a foot out front. We're going to switch halfway through. We go knee to elbow. We drop back into a lunge. So in three seconds, come on up with me. We go knee to elbow, nice control. We go back into a lunge. That's a runner, lunge, runner, lunge. Be ready, we'll switch halfway through. I mean, are you more like three little birds to buy my ghost step? Or singing sweet songs? A melody's pure and clear. Switch. Oh boy. And make sure you're controlling that lunge. If you pause, you should have a nice good form knee over the ankle. Try not to put your weight where your knee is going out in front of the ankle. And if you're looking all over the place like me, you might start to wobble like that. Starting to burn. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, next. Iron pants on the right. Pick something you feel like you can control the whole time on one foot. 
What is the iron pants on one foot? We're gonna go down, and then we're gonna do a row. So when you're ready, get on that right foot, lower as much as you're comfortable, and then we come up. Nice controlled move, we're not rushing it. Don't hunch your back over when you do the squat. Still try to keep your chest out so that your posture stays nice. You don't want to tear your lower back up. Oh, iron pants. I'm gonna face you. Man, I feel something burning in my cheek back there. It's that cheek, it's in fuego. Hi. Oh man, that's burning. If you're doing that, it's burning. 12 seconds. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Yep. I like it. Feels nice. It's a good burn. It's a deep burn. Oh. Break. Okay. Shake it out of that. The other side. It's oh so jealous. Oh, 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 oh so jealous. Oh so jealous. But I don't know if you heard. The word. Left foot. All right, drop them. Pull those pants back up. Drop them. These legs will start to get wobbly as we go. On to the further moves down the list. Don't worry, once we're done with these, you don't have to see them again. That little kick, side kick move I did, it's because I'm looking all over the room. When you're on that one foot, you need to try to keep your eyes fixed on one thing. Don't look around the room. Oh, but I gotta look at the clock. I gotta see all your beautiful faces. So sometimes I start to lose it. But don't worry, 15 seconds. If you can't see the clock, I got your back, because we got less than 10 left. Oh, I think there's five. Break! Wow, wow. Shake those legs out. Shake those legs out. We've got a gazelle hop. We're going to switch halfway through to a triple lunge. So the gazelle hop, if your legs are split, we're going to hop, 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 hop. So it's two hops and a switch. All right, here we go. Two hops and a switch. One, two, one, two. As we get close to the triple lunge, I'll go ahead and show you. I don't want to throw off the rhythm of this gazelle hop just yet by telling you the next one. But in 10 seconds, what you're going to do is you're going to do three hops. You'll go one, two, and the third one is a lunge. One, two, other side lunge. So we go now, we go one, two, lunge. One, two, other side. One, two, boom. So each two hops, that third one, you're landing in a lunge on the other side. Triple lunge jumps. Oh boy, they are Freddy Krueger's favorite. These can be found on Elm Street or at Camp Crystal Lake. Break. Wow. All right. Tomahawk. If you thought those were fun. Oh boy. So we got the right leg out front, dumbbell in the right hand above the head. We're going down into a lunge and up. So it's a Tricep extension behind with one hand. The dumbbell is in the same side of the foot it's for. So when we go down, so does the dumbbell, and when we come up, so does the dumbbell. This one will start to add up. I can tell you promises. I shall promise you that. I shall promise you that. Overhead extension with a lunge. We call them tomahawks. 
Man, if that back leg is not on fire, you might not be a human break. Dear God, make me a bird so I can fly far, far, far away from that move. What kind of bird would you be if you were to fly away? Catch your breath. Left foot out, dumbbell on the left side. Arm up, here we go. We're down, we're up. Way to work, challenge yourself. Push yourself a little harder each time. Push yourself, don't hurt yourself. Know your limits, but always challenge those limits. Take breaks when you need them. Twenty-five seconds left. Why would you randomly tell us that? That's not inspiring. That's a long time. I know. Right leg is on fire. I'll face y'all for the last couple. I'll come facing ya. We'll come correct. Five seconds. Oh my goodness, two, one, dear. Shake those legs out. Cause we've got a pogo pirate. We've got a pogo pirate. So we're gonna be on one foot. You have 10 seconds. You're gonna touch, hop. Other hand, touch, hop, and then a little one leg sprawl and a hop. So when you're ready, you go left hand, hop. Right hand, hop. Sprawl, hop. Control it, you do not have to go nearly as fast as I did. I was trying to save time. You can slow it down. Hop, touch, hop, touch. Get your balance before you start to try to move and try to speed it up. It's gonna help if you have your balance. And here we go. We switch legs. Left leg, oh boy. Now, control. Control, if you start to jump everywhere, take a breath, catch your balance, and start it over. Get your balance, because what happens is you start to lose your balance and you panic, and then you start to fall even more. Compose yourself and crush. Compose and crush. Break. Hopefully I didn't blow any speakers with that clap. Ooh, that's what she said. Uh, we got executioners. You're gonna take the dumbbell of your choice. You're gonna clasp it like an ax over your head, down into a squat. Grab your dumbbell, and we go down and up. Try to keep your toes pointing somewhat forward. We're not doing a sumo squat. Just trying to keep a regular squat that can point out a little bit, that's fine. Weight in the heels. Chin up, chest out, even on the swing. Try to keep the chest up. If you look at the ceiling, it helps. You just don't want to lean forward like this. You want to keep that chest up. Keep on chopping. Keep on chopping down that big old tree. Chopping down that big old tree. You guys probably can't see my hands up top out of the screen, but I'm pretty sure that you know my hands are there. They're not disappearing. Oh man. Three, two, one. Great work. Now, grab your lighter set of dumbbells unless all you have is moderate. We've got front raises. We're lifting nice control. You're going out front. You're making a V right in front of your chin. I'm going to start with just my right toe back. I'm not like standing in this weird stance on the back foot, it's just back there to support. Arms are straight, front raise. This is just taking our lower back out of it, but it's giving our calf a little bit of action because we're on our tiptoe. All the weight is still on the front foot. And we'll switch the legs halfway through. And that V again, Chin level, eye level, no higher than the, than the forehead. 
Switch legs. Keep moving. Constant movement is gonna burn it up here. We're just burning it up. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. Correct. And correct and yes. Oh, three, two, one. Way to work. All right, next move. Lizard lunge. We'll do the right side first, then we'll do the left. What is a lizard lunge? You have 11 seconds, so you can check it out. We're in a uh, plank. We bring the heel up and we touch it with the elbow. So our heel is kind of out here at our shoulder line. It's not like flat behind us. So get ready and hit it. We go boom, back to the plank. Step, back to the plank. That's the lizard lunge. You're on your heel, so your toes are pointing to the sky. Toes are pointing to the sky. You got it. We're gonna switch in three, two, one. So now you just get that left foot ready. You bring that left one up and then it's the left heel going down now. I'll face you guys for the rest of the move. Rest of the move, I'm looking your way. Here's looking at you, kid. Where's the bird? What kind of birds do you like, see? Oh, big bird. I mean, I guess a cartoon bird would work, but then you'd have to choose what was that cartoon bird. Break! Oh. I actually have lots of birds I like, so. Uh, the, the number one bird is hard to pick. I happen to have my favorite bird tattooed on my arm. Oh, uh, we got five seconds. What's the next move you say? Bridge, get on your back, press and twist. So you're on your back, your butt is up in the air, you're on your heels. You're pressing and twisting, pressing and twisting. Now, try to get constant movement with those dumbbells. Make sure you're not pausing at the top or the bottom, even though it's challenging to pause at the top or bottom here. I wanna keep them moving, I wanna put some heat in there. Again, your butt is way off the ground, you're on the heels, so those legs may start to shake. And just keep pressing, keep pressing. Got a little long-winded talking about birds, but this move still will challenge you. Oh man, I feel it in those hamstrings. Seven, six, you guys got it. Keep moving. Two, one, break. Way to work. Back to the feet. All right, we've got a roll and curl. So you're gonna pick some dumbbells, you're good curling. You're gonna sit down on your butt in a V-sit. You're gonna have the, your arms ISO curl like an Iron Man. They're just gonna be sitting here ISO'd. We're gonna roll back, come up, curl, ISO. Roll it. So try to keep those arms isometric during the roll. That extra weight on the roll is really gonna hit those obliques and it's gonna make your core really have to work. Oh, get a little closer for you guys so you can see a little better. Oh. Keep moving, keep working. <sighs> 10 seconds. Mm. Five, three, two, one. Break. Now, we got one move left. It's called a squat, 180 squat hop. First half will be just the squat hop. Then it will we'll add a burpee. If you're in a squat, you jump one direction and back the other direction. So get it hopping. Get it popping. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you now before this move ends. 
I'm going to issue a challenge. You do it if you want. Do not feel obligated. This workout was originally intended to be two rounds. So, in four seconds, we're going to add a burpee. Well, how's that going to look right here? Burpee, squat, hop. So if you have it in you, you restart this workout and you go for round two. Otherwise, it's already been challenging enough. I think most people would say, I'm good. But if you decide to double this one up and stack this workout, let me know. Let me know how it goes for you. It's meant to, to be about a 40 minute workout. However, break. As you can see, you're gonna get a total body killer with that one round. So, restart that video if you're doing it again. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day. Just make sure you let me know what's your favorite bird. Is it an eagle? A crow? Is it a raven? Like Edgar Allan Poe? What is it? Mine is it's almost a tie. Goldfinch, it's probably my favorite bird. Very close tie with a hummingbird. And I'm sorry to all the other birds that may be offended because I didn't mention them. Thanks for being here. I really do appreciate it. Please comment, like, subscribe, share. Share this with anyone that you want to help or that you think just wants something fun to do or something to laugh at.